Hello amazing people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's journey, I am going to share the difference between electronically signed form and digitally signed form. And kung saan form nyo siya ma-apply, which is sa IMM uh, 1344 and sa IMM 5532. So let's get going! <coughs> Okay guys, so there's a new update regarding some of the forms like IMM1344 which requires an electronical signature and then for the IM IMM5532 which requires a digital signature. So it says here it's from the IRCC um, guidelines that uh, you and the person you're in sport you and the person you're sponsoring must both electronically sign this application, which is the IMM1344. So you don't have to print, um, uh, sign the paper, and then scan it again. So just put your full name as shown in the passport, and that will do as your signature. And then for the IMM5532, so for you to be able to digitally sign the form you must first complete it and then select print to pdf so this will create a new version of the form that can be digitally signed so sagutan nyo muna yung form and then make sure you also put the dates so here i'm gonna show you um what it looks like okay so for the eye MM1344, so it says here for the signatures, I agree that by typing my name, I am electronically signing my application. So all you have to do is write your full name. I'll, for the sponsor name, let's say my name. And then of course, uh, don't forget the date and of course the principal applicant name again. And then the date so for the spouse sponsorship application again there's no need for co-signer and then of course don't forget to validate this form then for the imm 5532 so again all you have to do is to answer the form and then don't forget the date as well so make sure that the hat known field is merong date Kasi kapag once na ginawa na natin yung print to PDF, there's no way for us to put dates. Back. Um, it, we can only put the digital signature. Well, that's for my, based on my experience. Again, so you, you don't have to print this form and then hand return your signature and scan it. You don't have to do that anymore. So it's all uh, digital now for this form. So IMM5532. So our dates are good to go. All you have to do is click File and then click this one, Print or Control plus B and then drop down arrow. Make sure that Microsoft Print to PDF. And then you have to do is Print. So it will generate a new file. All you have to do is um, rename that file as IMM5532E PDF something like that so it will generate the file so it will generate a new version of file then let's just close this one and then let's just open it Okay, so for this signature, all you have to do is this one, add signature. You can draw or your type your full name, but of course. So just draw your signature and then click on apply. You can um, choose to save the signature or not. It's up to you. Then we'll just put it there. And then for the principal applicant signatures, so just click on that. For uh, so we can 
make a new signature and of course it has to be your principal applicant signature I'm just showing you guys how to do it and then click on that and then the last one is both signature um, sponsor and the principal applicant there you go and there you go and then all you have to do is just save this file or control s so you can do this or control that's all guys it's so easy so must be nadalina siya and if you guys have any questions or clarification suggestions please do comment down below i hope this video helps you on the difference between electronically signed a form and then the digitally signed form so that's everything for now bye for now